staying on land and I'm having a drink tonight. I heard that day actually. Dubrovnik. We're here going to dinner at Restaurant More in Hotel More. And we're going to the bar. This is the Kate More. <laughs> this is so romantic. So I got a Crozeco. Apparently, Crozeco is a Croatian Prozeco. <laughs> Oh, Prosecco! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try an oyster? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna get the swordfish carpaccio. And now, just you're trying oysters for the first time. Well, you don't have to like it, just try okay. it, you know? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Your sea bass looks nice, you grew. Yeah, it actually looks like a lot of vegetables. <laughs> the more I think about it, I'm like... <laughs> yeah. It's a cave bar. That's a cave bar. Yeah, she's chilled. We'll swim here tomorrow. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't want to swim anymore. <laughs> Good morning. Um, we just woke up. We're planning to go for breakfast now, and then after that, we're gonna explore the city. We're gonna explore the old town today and then later we have um, a sunset kayaking trip planned out at 4 30. i'm really excited to see how um, dubrovnik looks like yeah it's really beautiful <laughs> Amazing that everybody has an amazing view. Waking up in one of these apartments and then having this view when you wake up. I think it's staring at me and it's not very impressed with what it sees. We're here. There's the ocean. Oh, I think that's the wall over there. Well, sorbet actually, right? Yeah. This coconut basil sorbet is just the best thing ever. It's so refreshing, it's not too sweet, and it has the softest hint of basil. And it's just so refreshing. And look at this view! Today is actually so much more chill than the place like Rome. 
like this space just has so much space for everyone you see how they have people down here and then they also have people up there so they have many many different sections of um, the city where people are just separated into different spots you know so it's not like super crowded if like everyone up there would be down here too it'd be super crowded um, but I feel like they have a very good organization of separating people in different parts of the town it looks so good and like it's so spacious also there's like this outer area here by the sea and they have larger squares in there where we walked before the tiny boat in the back is so cute So we got tickets to walk on the um, the walls. It costs 35 euros, but I heard that it's really worth it. So let's see. It's really hot in there. A lot of stairs though so far. Let's see how we get on. A lot of stairs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just said that it's a one-way street all the way through the entire um, walls so we're gonna have to keep going there's no turning back and there's no exit the other way so let's just keep going all the rooftops have the same color this is so impressive no exiting up is the only way Stop for a bottle of water. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my gosh, the heat is pretty intense. <laughs> we found this little um, cafe area here. It's kind of small and it has AC. Um, it's mid wall, right? It's halfway. We're halfway? It's halfway, yeah. Okay, so we're halfway and there is a restaurant, a kind of cafe here which serves watermelon juice some ice water, cold water. It's really cute actually. Grasshopper has six legs. This one only has four. The grasshopper's gone. Really? Yeah. Okay, now she's put it on 21. We're here now at um, 3 30. We're gonna have some food, then we're gonna head down those stairs and uh, head to the um, kayaking area downstairs. It's gonna be pretty cool because we've got sunset kayaking um, booked. <laughs> so we're gonna eat now and then head over there. And, and this place is super beautiful. Like you can see the walls and the fort here. going under the bridge that's where we went in the morning um, through there and then we were 
that leads us into the old town. Now we're going under the bridge um, to get to the kayak session that actually starts at 4.45. But we're just gonna go there a little early, earlier just in case. There are so many different um, kayak companies here. Um, we booked ours via Get Your Guide. Yeah, but there are tons. I mean, I think you wouldn't have a problem if you came here and just booked one on the spot. And we were constantly pushed out and actually they already said that today's winds are exceptional um, it's normally us. not like that even at the restaurant that we were at before they already closed the umbrellas because the wind was just way too strong um, so they started keeping the umbrellas or the umbrellas would fly away um, and they told us that it's gonna be kind of hard to paddle um, but somehow we got yeah we just got caught in this weird current and and we kept paddling and paddling and just, there was just like, it was just impossible. It was literally impossible to turn the boat. So I'm actually very happy that we were alive. I'm staying on land and I'm having a drink tonight. <laughs> okay, check me in later. We 
are heading to the island Buckram today. Um, I think we might be taking one of those ferries. It's only gonna be 15 minute rides. It's really not that bad. was also partly filmed on this island background. some Hiram yogurt soup. Oh, hands up. 